So you having trouble connecting to your Android Auto in your car? Well, about three years ago, I made a video like this helping a lot of you guys out. And now for 22, I wanted to do an updated one because they've updated the Android Auto app and we have some new information found out. So if you guys are having trouble, we're gonna go through some ways you can troubleshoot your phone, troubleshoot your car and get connected and get your Android Auto up and running. Let's get started. First thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure your car and your phone are compatible with Android Auto. Basically any vehicle 2017 or newer with a touchscreen display like this should be compatible. Most newer aftermarket touchscreen radio systems are also compatible, but you wanna make sure and you can go to the Android Auto website and you can see if your vehicle is compatible and you can also see if your phone is compatible on their website. You also need to have the updated software of the Android phone. So you need Android 6.0 or higher. So that's really important. Make sure you don't have an old Android and all your software on your phone is up to date. Really important too, you wanna have the proper cord. So you can't have one of these gas station or dollar store cords. You need the cord that came with your phone, a proper USB cord or USB-C cord is what I'm using today. Right away, out of the gate, if you're having trouble, probably the first thing you'll wanna do is restart your phone. Restarting your phone, turning the car on and off and make sure you put the car in park for your initial setup should really take away all minor glitches and the problems you have with setup. So first things first, restart your phone. If you've restarted your phone and it's still not working, the next you would want to do is update your phone and you would want to update the Android Auto app. So you're just going to go to the Google Play Store, you're going to search Android Auto and you want to either uninstall and reinstall the app or update the app if it allows you to. If it's still not working, you need to identify what the issue is. Is it your car or is it your phone? A good way to identify this would be grabbing a friend's phone and trying to plug that into the car and seeing if their, co their phone automatically connects to Android Auto. If it does, that means the problem is with your phone, not the car. If their phone doesn't connect, then the issue is with the car. Sometimes it won't automatically restart Android Auto automatically. If you have this, don't ask anymore and you've hit no. It's not going to automatically restart when you plug your phone in and it's not going to automatically set up Android Auto. See, now I plug my phone in and it's not starting. So that's something you need to check in your connections. You can see it here. It's not coming up. You basically need to go into your phone settings and hit file transfer or Android Auto. It might just be set. Your phone settings might just be set to charge, but you want to make sure it's connected for the Android Auto. If it's still not connecting, you might need to just change around the settings in your car. So obviously every car is different, but I'm gonna go into my settings here and I'm gonna try to find maybe where it says phone pairing, applications, apps, um, screen mirroring. Uh, but here in this car, it says apps. And then here you see it says Android Auto. And then there's my, my kind of status here, enable after USB connection. It says never, so that means it's never gonna start up, but I wanna change that. And I'm gonna put that to always. And now that I've connected to my USB, it's gonna show up right at the bottom there. Um, that's the main thing, check the car. Lastly, if it's not starting like that, you have fixed the settings in your phone, you fix the settings on your car, it might be time just to go to the dealership and troubleshoot. Hopefully they have someone like me, maybe a young guy who has experience with Android Auto and they can troubleshoot your phone. As long as you've determined that the problem is with the car, not the phone. So good luck guys. Make sure you guys comment down below. If you guys have any questions, if you have trouble connecting, let us know and we can try to help you. And just comment if this got helped you guys get it to work. If we helped you today, make sure you subscribe to Cars Unlocked and we'll see you in the next video.